Welcome to Pro Tuto Channel. Here we try to give you professional tutorials to help you going so far in automation. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a sequential program in Siemens TIA portal. We will use a traffic light as an example. We create a program in TIA portal and we start writing the program after adding a CPU, we can choose any type to control the traffic light. The first network will be about how to move from step 0 to step 1. We create an internal integer tag and we call it actal step. To make your program more easy to understand, you can give a name to each step in your graph set. If the initial step is active, and the button start is turned on, then we immediately activate the step number 1. The second network will be about how to move from step 1 to step 2. The third network will be about how to move from step 2 to step 3.
then, how to move from step 3 and go back to the initial step. Finally, we define which action to enable within every step in the graph set. As an example, if step 1 is active, so turn on the green lamp. The last network will be about how to stop the graph set if the stop button is pressed. Before we start testing the program, we can prepare the tags to be simulated. We can call them in a new watch table. Now, we call the PLC sim and start testing the program. We click on the start button, and the system will be executed during one cycle. The sequential program is working properly, like we defined it in the graph set. Now we are going to make the graph set run continuously, just after pressing the start button.
The graph set now is running continuously, we just need to press stop to stop it. Now we are adding an update. The system should run during a number of cycles defined by the user and then stops automatically. We will suppose that the demanded number of cycles is 3. We should create two integer tags. The first will be the user demanded number of cycles. The second will be the actual number of cycles. Here we should have a divergence, if the system reaches the demanded number of cycles, the graph set should go back to the initial step, else, it should start again at step number 1. Here, we set the user demanded number of cycles as 3. The last thing to do is counting the actual number of cycles, we will use a simple counter. Here we go. Let's download the update to the CPU and simulate the final program. The program works fine, so after finishing three cycles, it returns to the initial step and then stops. We can stop the system anywhen, with just pressing the stop button. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.